Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I'm here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that when any time I upload a video, you will be notified. So you guys have to excuse my head wrap today. I do plan on doing a beauty video later on. Well, we're actually right after this one. I am going to record uh, myself putting on makeup so you guys get to see my very first makeup tutorial. Now I was supposed to do it this weekend, however ladies y'all know what i mean okay but uh she came this weekend and she was real mean and she's still here but you know needless to say i was not going to be recording any videos uh while that was going on because um i just couldn't i, I really i really couldn't um uh, on top of that i hadn't really seen my kids in two weeks you guys um for obvious reasons so I uh, wanted to just really be free to just, you know, be with my kids and really be present in the moment as much as I possibly could when I wasn't sipping on tea and bundled up in my blanket in my bed. All right. But on that note, you guys, uh, let's jump right into it. I'm not sure if I said my intro, but y'all already know what to do if you haven't. Uh, had a chance to definitely check out my merch shop. I do have my Live Love Elevate in two different designs on my merch shop and different colors. They're not all pink. I also have mugs and I have some hooded sweatshirts because we are getting into that colder season. And here's my mug. Doesn't she look pretty? All right, let me jump right into it. So um, I'm gonna let you guys know right now, Majority of this video is going to be geared towards California. I'm trying to decide if I want to talk about what's going on in California or if I want to do my Monday review. Y'all know I usually like to come on here and just kind of review and talk about what's going on more so with SNAP because it's the weekend and sometimes we have more states that have been added. In this case, I don't necessarily think that's going to occur because we are in that last month. Wait a minute now. Surprisingly, I was wrong. See what I'm saying? I just checked and uh, Wisconsin is the first month actually and the only month that has actually been approved for extensions all the way through. I mean, uh, for October. Now, you guys know these benefits are actually supposed to end in September. Now, I did read in that article. Remember when I read that article? I want to say it was Friday or Thursday, but I do remember reading an article just recently where I was saying to you guys that the money is available. They're saying that the money is available. So if they want to continue um, to give these benefits that they can, it's just all a matter of them filing the necessary paperwork and applying for those benefits so that they can be approved. So hopefully the rest of the states follow suit. But y'all know I'm definitely going to give you the name of the, uh, uh, not the name because I already gave it to you. It's Wisconsin. But I'm definitely going to give you that payout date. So I guess I just answered my question. We're going to discuss nothing but EBT on this video, which means this video probably is not going to be as long as usual, but at least you guys get to get caught up with where we are right now. So I did find an article really, really quick that I wanted to go over with you guys. It is for emergency SNAP benefits, but it's for, I believe, New York. And I believe that the information that I gave you guys from the USDA website is different from this information. So whenever I see information in an article that may be different, I like to give you guys all of those dates just so that um, any information that's available, you can have it. OK, um, here we go. It says New York residents enrolled in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program will be getting maximum benefits this month. This uh, the state plans to receive 200 million for families on food stamps. OK, the benefits for residents uh, outside New York City will begin um, this week and continue through September 24th. Oh, OK, so uh, this week, this article was put out two days ago, so. As of this week, it says that benefits are going to start going out and it's going to continue all the way through September 24th. New York City residents began receiving them September 16th. OK, so on the USDA website, it did give me two different sets. Let me see if I can grab my my paper back here. Hold up, y'all. My face all in the camera. OK, let me just check right here and see what it's saying for New York City. For New York City, I have, okay, yeah, so this article actually kind of sort of lines up, um, yeah, through the 24th. So this, this article actually lines up with what's on the USDA website because on the USDA website, it says for New York City, uh, benefits will start September 16th. 
and the 17th and then the 20th through the 24th and then the 27th and then the 20 through the 29th. And then for the rest of the state outside of New York City, it was September 13th through the 16th and then the 20th through the 23rd with benefits available available the next day. So that's as of the USDA website. Now, this article is saying for residents outside of New York City, benefits will start this week and continue through the 24th. Um, and then for New York City residents, they began getting them um, as of September the 16th. So y'all let me know in New York, have you guys actually started to receive your benefits? But that is going to continue all the way up until the end of the month for New York City residents. OK, if a person or family is already receiving the maximum benefits, they will still get an additional ninety five dollars. Funds are loaded directly to the recipient's EBT cards for them to use um, with their cards. And that is pretty much it for this article regarding that now i kind of want to stay within the same realm um discussing what's going on with benefits as of right now so i'm trying to see if there's anything else right now uh, along those lines that is necessary i don't see anything but one thing that i did find it's kind of funny um, but at the same time it's not i don't think i talked about this with you guys but there is a chicken settlement yes chicken settlement anyone who bought chicken which i feel like it's everybody unless you're a vegetarian who bought chicken over the last decade could get some type of payment OK, if you have purchased chicken over the past 10 years, you may be able to get your cut of a legal settlement. It says Tyson Foods uh, is among the companies that have reached a 181 million settlement in a class action antitrust lawsuit. OK, this um, comes from uh, where is this coming from? It says, according to the settlement announcement, the suit alleged that the companies conspired to stabilize the price and supply of chicken and were in violation of antitrust laws. The settlement uh, agrees uh, agreement. I'm sorry. The settlement agreement does not mean the companies involved admitted to the allegations, but agreed to settle to avoid the further expense, inconvenience, disruption and burden of this litigation and any other present or future litigation arising out of the facts that gave rise to this litigation. OK, in the agreement, anyone who had purchased fresh or frozen raw chicken could get a piece of the settlement. The chicken could be a whole chicken. Uh, it could have been they're telling you the things that you could have purchased that would qualify you to be a part of the settlement. So the chicken could have been a whole chicken. It could have been cut up uh, pieces of chicken. It could have been white meat selections, your breast and all of that. The settlement in excludes chicken that was marketed as uh, halal. H I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Um, H-A-L-A-L. Um, as halal, kosher, free range or organic. So if you bought anything in those one, two, three uh, categories, then you will be excluded from this settlement. The chicken must have been purchased in the following states or territories from July 1st of 2009 all the way through July 31st of 2019. So here are the states, California, DC, Florida, Hawaii, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, uh, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Rhode Island, but after July 15, 2013, it says that in um, parentheses there, uh, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Utah, and Wisconsin. Okay. The date for some purchases, depending on the brand and location is extended to December 31st, 2020. Okay. Um, for more information and to see if you qualify for a payment, there is a link I'm going to try and put it. The deadline to apply for the claim is December 31st of 2022. Cause so you guys have a whole year okay i think um to be perfectly honest I, I i pretty much think that's everybody i think everybody i don't know why every state isn't included on here but everybody who like i said if you're not if you're a vegetarian and you've been a vegetarian for a long time um then you won't qualify but i'm pretty sure everybody has purchased some type of meat specifically chicken because it's almost always the most least expensive option out there even when prices do rise at least where i'm at and where i'm shopping chicken seems to be always the least expensive um option you can always find great deals on chickens at various supermarkets so i highly encourage you guys to apply i actually uh not apply but to submit your information um i did it i'm not gonna lie but I buy chicken and I have been buying chicken. So if they're in, if, if, if I could stand to get something from this settlement based off of whatever these antitrust laws is, I did it. I signed up for it. So I am going to leave the information for the website because it doesn't say here. It actually just gives a link from this article directly to um, the page where you would need to go to fill out 
the information and it's very very basic it's just basically asking you your name your address um i don't think it's as it's not as i don't think it's asking you for any like social security number or anything like that just your name your address and uh how would you like to receive your i think everyone's receiving it via check so i'm not really sure if that is a question that is on there but that's a possibility that that may be on there they're going to ask you how would you like to receive your um your payment if you are eligible to receive one. It doesn't say what it is, how much it's going to be or anything like that. And nine times out of 10, you probably won't see this for a very long time. But like my grandmother used to tell me, as long as people still owe you, you'll never be broke, okay? So <laughs> um, I'm gonna put that link down below in the description box because like I said, it doesn't have it here. But let's jump into emergency SNAP maximum benefits for the month of uh, September as well as for October. I'm actually really, really shocked you guys, but that's one of the reasons why when I found that article, I wanted to read it to you guys. Wait, hold on, what is this? Um, I think I read this already. Yeah, this is for Michigan. I'm pretty sure I read this to you guys for the bridge cards. Yeah, I read this to you guys last week for Michigan for the bridge cards. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any additional information that is on here. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm gonna see if you can see it, maybe if it'll focus. But this is basically what I'm looking at. This is a, um, what do you call this? This is a, a, a newscaster, it's, I think it's called Newsbreak. Um, and anytime I click on an article, then you have all of these other um, you have all of these other options down below that gives you information that's relevant to whatever the article is that you're reading. So, um, just to let you guys know, so you don't think like, why is she always looking on her phone? Yeah, I'm actually reading stuff while we're on here and I'm trying to see if there's any other information that's relevant to snap benefits. I see here, this was in August though. So that is old. I'm pretty sure snap benefits to increase in October. I did discuss that with you guys. Um, Oh, let's go over it again, though. See if this article is going to give us any additional information. Okay, so it says the amount of supplemental nutrition assistance program SNAP benefits will increase in October 2021. I did let you guys know that that's for everybody. It doesn't matter what your circumstance is. It doesn't matter if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on SSI, if you're not on SSI, it really doesn't matter. This is SNAP benefits across the board, I believe, for all 50 states. Everybody who is receiving um, SNAP benefits, whatever it is that they call it in your state, you are going to receive this increase. And this is a permanent increase. This does not have anything to do with the pandemic or anything like that. This is an increase most of you guys should have received. I know out here in California, they started to send out notices um, specifically saying um, that the SNAP benefits were going to increase. And I believe they sent out another one um, talking about the cash aid too. Now, I'm not sure if that is across the board for everybody in all 50 states or if that's just California, but be on the lookout if you guys don't have an online account available with your Department of Human and Health Services or whichever governing body that takes care of these benefits and you should start one because you can get those documents a lot quicker um, online than waiting for them to be mailed out okay but starting October 1st the maximum amount uh, a family of four can get will be $835 that is up from $782 which includes a 15 uh, percent uh, pandemic increase which ends in September. Okay. Um, this is for Missouri specifically, or at least they're talking about Missouri in here, but going down the line, it says a household with one person was getting 234. Now with the exception of some States, I believe like Alaska, Hawaii, I can't remember the other States, but there are some States that do get a significantly higher amount of food stamps without any pandemic increase with just, just normally. Okay. So those States obviously are going to get more, but for the most part, majority of the States are going to get this much. Hold on you guys. All right, sorry about that, you guys. I actually was, um, what was I doing? I had a corn dog in the oven for my son and I was smelling it and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna burn it. So let me just get up and take it to him so that he's okay for right now. Um, let me get back to my article. Um, okay, so we were going over the amount for the, um, what they're saying is going to be the, the new amounts. Um, across the board, I think. So a household with one person was getting 234. In October, they will get 250. A household with two people was, was getting 430. In October, they would get 459. A household with three people was getting 616. In October, they will get 658. 
a household with four people was getting 782. In October, they will get $835 a month in SNAP, not cash, SNAP, food stamp benefits. Okay. Now, with that being said, um, the average is supposed to be $36 per person. Now, I know, I know, I know I'm aware that there are a lot of you guys out there, especially the seniors who are receiving this other federally funded um, income like Social Security. And for whatever the reason may be due to that, you guys are only getting like $16 a month in food stamps. I honestly can't really um, help you in terms of how much you're going to get that the average is $36. Now that's not necessarily the case for everybody. So a person who's getting $16, if you add $36, they'll probably be getting close to 40 to 52 bucks, 52 bucks to be exact. Um, I wish that they would do more in that regard in terms of, cause it, it obviously has something to do with the income. Um, I don't know how much you guys get just guessing. I don't, I'm pretty sure they're not giving you guys $3,000 a month or anything like that. I would say it's probably between 800 to a thousand. I don't know. You guys can let me know, correct me down below, but even eight hundred to a thousand dollars doesn't matter where you are. I do know that California and um, New York and certain states are more expensive. Which in those states, you would think that the income criteria would be different um, because the cost of living is high there. But at the same time, I, I I'm not exactly sure what the increase is going to look like for you guys. Is the point that I'm getting to um, due to your circumstances. And I know it's really, 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 really unfortunate. I am going to. Um, look further into other resources that maybe you guys can get you guys they have vouchers um they were doing something for seniors i want to say last year i'm not sure if that program is still going on where they were giving vouchers to farmers markets and, and, and things of that nature you had to apply for it so i'm going to look that up and see if that is still available for you guys um you can also dial 211 in your state to get additional information food banks i know a lot of this stuff is like kind of old and repeated and you guys are probably already utilizing those resources i am going to do the very best that I can to get some more resources if they are available for you guys. Okay. I'm going to do my, my, my absolute best to try to figure that out for you guys. But as of right now, I cannot give you a definitive answer and say that you are going to get a significantly higher amount, or if it's really going to make much of a difference in your household. Um, I, I, it's just really, really sad that you guys are getting that amount of money and I really, you know, in stamps. And I really, really do wish that they would take a look into that and, um, yeah, just really, really fix it I, I I really don't know what else to say about that I just don't want you guys to feel left out and I know at the end of the day a lot of you guys do because you leave it down below in the comment section um, saying that you feel left out and you feel like benefits are geared more towards people who have um, children and that's not the case because there are people who get food stamps that don't have children and they're getting a, a, a more than $16 I don't know what the criteria is for them I don't know what's different from them and, them and you guys I don't know if there's a set amount that you're supposed to get if you're automatically getting social security um, benefits benefits. I have no idea, but I do know that I have seen people who are getting, um, who don't have children who are getting more than $16 a month in food stamps. So I don't know you guys, but let's jump right into, uh, the emergency snap maximum benefits. Hold up. I got an email here. It's a bill collector, but I just want to make sure they're not saying nothing. Um, okay. So um, let's jump into the emergency SNAP maximum benefits for the month of September. I do have that written down right here. I am going to turn the screen around just so that they can be on the screen while I'm reading this. Um, and you guys can uh, take a look to see if your state is there because for some reason, even though I go through all the states that are available, somebody will still ask me, is their state on the list? So if you guys don't want to watch the video all the way through, that's fine, but you can just skip through to that point. And the reason why I don't put timestamps at the bottom of my video is because I just have too much stuff going on in the, in, in the day. This takes time, believe it or not. This takes time for me to sit here, record a video, get my information together, and then actually edit it. And I like to do that all in one sitting. Like I do this as soon as I'm done recording, I go and I sit and I edit my video and then I put it up for you guys, okay? So I don't have any pre-recorded videos to release because I'm giving you information day by day as it becomes available, if that makes sense. So then to go in and now have to go look at the video and go, okay, this is when I started talking about this. Maybe later on, you know, when I have a little bit more free time, but right now I'm kind of in grind mode. So I just got to get these videos up and out. All right. But let's turn this camera around real quick. 
All right, you guys, so let me put myself up here on the screen. Hopefully you can see me, um, but here is emergency SNAP maximum benefits for the month of September. I am going to try to enlarge as big as I can for my screen um, so that you guys can see, okay? And then I'm going to go over the payout dates for these states, okay? So for Alabama, September 30th, California, October 23rd, Colorado, where are you? September 7th through the 11th, Connecticut, September 17th, and then every Friday until all apps are completed. Delaware, September 29th, DC, regular issuance, uh, Georgia, September 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, uh, Guam, I have September the 17th. Hawaii, I have October the 11th. Kansas, I have October 15th through the 24th. Kentucky, I have September 2nd through the 19th. Louisiana, no, no, no. We're going to go here, Kentucky. Indiana, I have, where are you? September 5th through the 23rd, odd days only. Illinois, I have September 22nd through the 30th, weekly starting October the 4th. Iowa, I have September the 1st through the 10th, so you guys should have already gotten your benefits. Maine, I have September the 10th. Maryland, I have September 1st through the 30th, all month long. Massachusetts, I have October 4th. Uh, Michigan, I have September 25th through October 4th. Mississippi, I have September 2nd. Uh, New Hampshire, September 5th, 21st, and October 19th. New Jersey, at the beginning of the month, between the 1st and the 5th. New Mexico, all month long. I saw somebody in the comments ask me about that. So for New Mexico, they're actually not on here, as you can see. But New Mexico has been approved, and the benefits should be going out all month of September, okay? New York City, we did talk about that already Um earlier in the video but again new york city will be the 16th the 17th of this month and then the 20th through the 24th of this month and then the 27th through the 29th now for the rest of the state outside of new york city it will be september the 13th through the 16th the 20th through the 23rd and then it uh it says benefits will be available the next day okay Remember that other article also said that benefits will continue through the end of the month. I believe that was for residents that are outside of New York City. OK, so just monitor your cards, check your cards all the way up until the end of um, September for New York, North Carolina. We have September 22nd through the 30th and then the final run October the 1st. Ohio, we have September 27th. Oklahoma, we have. Uh, which is not on here. We have September 10th through the 15th, Oregon. We have September 10th, 29th, and then October 1st, Pennsylvania. We have September 16th through the 18th, the 21st through the 25th, the 28th and the 29th, and then a final run November the 5th. Rhode Island, September 3rd, South Carolina, the 1st through the 19th of this month with regular issuance. Um, Tennessee, I have September 1st through the 20th, Texas. September the 7th through the 13th, okay? We're just going to keep it at that, the 7th through the 13th. Um, it may, you guys may also get some benefits at the end of the month. I believe I saw an article that suggested that. I'm not sure, but in terms of the USDA, it's the 17th through the 13th. So if you guys have any, have any different dates down, uh, put them in the comment section down below so that your fellow Texans can get that information, okay? Uh, Utah, we have September the 26th. Uh, Vermont, October the 14th, Virginia, September 16th, Washington with regular issuance, West Virginia, we have September 9th, and then a final run October 13th, Wisconsin, we have September 25th, and then a catch up November the 13th, uh, and then Wyoming, we have at the beginning of the month, as always, September the 2nd through the 5th, based off of the first initial of your last name. Now, I am going to refresh my screen because, like I said... We had one lucky state so far as of today. See right there? Right here, Wisconsin through October 2021. Okay, just so you guys can see what I am looking at. So let's go ahead and take a look. Most likely, I think, is it Wisconsin that does um, the beginning of the, of the month? I'm looking at my papers here, right? No, they usually do well, let, uh, for this month, it's September 25th. So let's see what it's going to be. October extension approved. 
Okay, so here we are, you guys. This is the area that I am reading. As you can see here, we've got the state Wisconsin and then the issuance date for October will be October 16th. And then a catch up run December 11th, 2021. I am going to actually see if I have a document here so that I can start all over again for October, just in case we get some more. States, I'm hoping you guys, I'm hoping y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm pretty sure you guys are already feeling the same way that I am. So for Wisconsin, we have October the 16th and then a final December 11th. And we're going to mark this as October. All right, you guys, I don't see any other states, <laughs> obviously. Um, I probably will take the time to go through this again later on, because just like with some of those other states that wasn't on here. Um, let's just see here. Um, Alabama. Yeah, no, this one is still up till September. I'm just um randomly selecting states here because sometimes the state may be approved on their individual page but then not necessarily um on the main page okay so i'm just randomly checking states to see if any more has that october extension approved wisconsin i feel like has been the only state that has um pretty much kept up with their paperwork i wish all the states will follow suit with that and get their documentation in line so that people don't have to wait um, and get nervous and, and uh, anxious about benefits, knowing whether or not they're going to be approved for the following month. But it doesn't look like any other state right as of right now has been approved for October. Just Wisconsin, you guys. All right, my lovelies. So on that note, you guys, as always. I'm going to say, I hope this information was in some way helpful or useful to you guys. Definitely don't forget to check out my merch shop down below. You can get this beautiful shirt here. I do also have other designs on there. I have my beautiful yellow sunflowers and honey shirt. That comes in other colors too. I think I, there's a green one um, and a black one. I also have coffee mugs. I have my Live Love Elevate t-shirts as well as coffee mugs and that. And I also have some hooded sweatshirts, okay, which I'm going to be getting one of those myself because it's starting to get a little chilly outside. But yeah, you guys, I am going to hurry up and edit this video, get it out because I'm actually pretty excited to do my beauty video, which is going to be coming out at some point today. I don't know when. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But as always, you guys, I'm going to say remember to live, love and elevate. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace, beautiful people.